Hello, it's Paul again. Thanks for joining me for this quick video tutorial on using audio in Stop Motion Pro. What I'm going to do now is add an audio track to an animation and make a little film. So I'm just going to create a, a new project. I'll give it a simple name. Click OK. And like the other projects, I'm using a DV camera. So I'll leave those settings all right. Click OK. I'll just resize the video for this demonstration. Okay, and now I want to synchronize some audio. So I'm opening the audio sync tool from the tools menu and I've just located an audio file. This, this actually is the audio file that comes with the Stop Motion Pro uh, CD and is also available on our website. Here, I'll let you listen to it so you understand what's happening. Okay, so along here we have the, this is the audio track that's displayed as a waveform so you can see where these footsteps occur and I can drag the mouse over those and hear them. Over here we've got the big noise which is the crash and you can hear how I can drag the slider over those and listen to it a frame at a time. This is good for doing lip sync. Okay, so we've got our audio track. What I want to do now is decide where I want my animation to come in and start from. So, look, let's, uh, I won't do the whole track, I'll just start halfway in. I'll just click the sync button here on the bottom of the audio window and that synchronizes the audio frame start point with the first frame of the animation or whatever frame of the animation you're looking at. And you can see a little uh, dot down here has become highlighted, a little frame marker. And as we film the animation that will, will advance. Also, on another note here, I've set the capture, to, I'm going to set the capture rather, to capture two frames with every capture uh, and that'll also speed up the animation production. Okay, this is looking good. I'll also tick the scrub audio tool and this will stop the playback of the audio when I press play. Okay, well I'm ready to start animating. So I'll hit the, hit the capture button there and start, start moving my chair. Okay, now over here I can hear it's a footstep. I see it's a footstep rather there in my audio track. So what I'm going to do is make my chair leg here uh, stop and start moving the other one so it looks like a step. Let's see how it looks. Okay, so I'll pivot now on the other leg. I can see the other footstep here is about to occur, so I'm going to pivot on the other foot, on the other leg now. Okay, I can also see my crash about to occur too, so I better. Okay, now if I play, you can start to hear how the next frame, or we're right on the frame where the impact's happening. So I'm going to now start animating this little figure. Okay, let's have a little look at how that playback plays back. Okay, so we're getting some idea of how it's looking there. And if I come back here. Now the audio is, I can scrub along the bottom toolbar here and that gives me an idea of how the uh, animations matching the audio. Okay, 
Okay, I'll just capture a, uh, a few more frames. I can right click on the capture button and capture multiple frames at a time. So I'll capture five frames this time. And I'll do that again. Capture five frames. And another few frames. And look, let's uh, now. Right, I'll export this as a, an AVI. And I'll click the use audio file button here. Yeah, I'll give it a name. Just reduce stop motion pro. Let's have a little look and see how it plays back. Great. Alright. Well, there you go. Thanks for having a look at this demonstration.